What's going on guys, welcome back to another video, and this is going to be showing with the interior to your remake police station. Now, uh, if you do did remake it, there's the old one. Um, two things to say. One, I did not use the entire interior of this build, and I will give you suggestions for what to put in the other parts. Um, there are empty rooms and stuff, and this was a little bit rushed because I didn't want to make this an hour, and I didn't want to make a super complex interior. So, let me turn... Good enough. So, um, if you come inside the main lobby area, you just have a reception desk, and that's it. Uh, staircase to the left, we'll look at that later. Come into the left room, this is kind of like a guest area where you can sit down and I'm gonna talk about th those people back there. Uh, you can just make this brick if you want. I wanted to add something interesting to it. And then, hallway at the right, you've got meeting rooms galore. You could turn one of these into an office, or you can make an office upstairs, which I will get into, obviously, later, and then... Here's the big scary part. Open the iron door and you've got prison cells. Uh, you know, these are just like, I guess, I don't know what they use them for, but I think they exist. Um, I'm not obviously experienced with this, but, uh, yeah. And then you want to come up to the staircase. You can actually wall this off as well. This room's empty. I do have an idea for this. Um, I'm not going to show you how to do it because I don't really feel like building it, to be honest. And it's something that I'm not very good at building, as, of, as we have seen in the past. But I will give you suggestions for that, and, uh, come back all the way over here. A little, like, locker room area where there's probably uniforms and stuff. No dryer washer either, okay. And then, this, this can just be, like, a lookout area, or it could be an actual room. You could even have this as an office, that'd be a cool office. Also, this blue stripe, I do not believe you can get rid of, yeah, because there's directly above a window. Over here, I guess you could if you wanted to. But on the floor, it does have to stay. So, yeah. And then I will show you again. There is a ton of room back here to do whatever you really choose to do. So, um, yeah. With that being said, let's go to what we should have. If you do not build the exterior, you should do that first. That video will be from the other day. It would have been from Friday. But, um, yeah, you should have... Your police station should look something like this. Uh, it'll either look like that one or like this one. It depends on what you do with the top art. That will not matter because that is above the line of the roof. Unless you wanted to add a room up here, which you really could. But, uh, I didn't fill this in. Alright, so you want to come inside your build. Through the front doors or whatever. I'm going to get night vision so I can actually see. What you want to get out to start is... Let me drink night vision real quick. Oakwood planks. White concrete. And stone bricks. That's all you need for now because we're just doing floor and ceiling stuff. So you basically... You want to break the entire floor. And you want to replace it with oak. Just like that, except it should be all the way along. Except for at the back, we'll get to that in a second. At the... Okay, well first of all, take out blue concrete actually, sorry. And you want to, wherever you have blue concrete here at the front, basically... Just kind of around the front here, you want to place a blue concrete rim around the black glass, and you want to bring it back an additional block. Just like that. And then, where you have the four rows here at the, I guess the right opened, with more blue concrete, you can just wall that off as well at the same level. Just like that. And then at that level, the top row of blue concrete, which should be directly above the black glass, pretty much you want to place white concrete at that level, so you should see where that is. And then you want to place oak wood planks on top of the white concrete layer. Now, what's different about the back? Come to the blue concrete. You have a big, blue, huge blue concrete wall. You want to come to the back right-hand corner of that, and you want to break nine grass blocks moving forward. You then want to break those all the way to the left. 
Just like that. This entire square, the inside, that rect it's more of a rectangle. But that entire inside shape, including that line that we broke, wants to be filled in with stone bricks instead of oak. Just like that. So yeah, I'm going to do all of that, and I will be back to show you what everything should look like. Alright, once you're done, you should, have some, you should have something that looks slightly or exactly like this. Now, basically, you're going to have this, like, stone brick palette in the back, and then everything else wants to be oak. And also, above, let me just break up somewhere random and try not to lose the spot. You should make sure that everything is oak. If you want to make it stone brick, add the same on the top of us and on the bottom of it, you can add more cells there. Go ahead and do it. I would. And then have that little cell box, which will take up a lot of space. And then maybe have, like, offices here instead. But then, just keep the lounge at the front. And then, the room here would be probably, like, a gym or something. I don't know. That's just thoughts. Um, you can do whatever you would like, though. With this back palette, you want to clear inventory. I'm going to leave night vision. Um, for the ceiling light, you can either use glowstone or lanterns. I'm using lanterns because I'm lazy and I don't feel like having to place the pattern. So, Because it's just quicker to place the blocks by themselves. But, uh, yeah. So, get out. Stone brick. Or not. Yeah, stone brick. Sorry. Stone brick stairs. Iron bar. Brick block. Iron door. Lever. And we'll go with spruce wood slabs and court stairs. You also need um, two carpet colors. One should be preferably white and the other is your choice. And then birch trap doors. And that's all we need for to do with this entire stone brick section. All right, so from the f the back or the back right hand corner of the stone brick section, you want to find this blue concrete wall and you want to break the three blue concrete that are visible and replace them with brick blocks. All right, so you have the brick block here at the how did that get destroyed? You have the brick block here at the right side. You want to take the bottom block and you want to bring it forward by seven. And place an iron door. Two brick blocks. And you want to connect all the way to the left with brick block. While we're at it, what you want to do is you want to come to the front here. And where you have, okay, so see the front where there's the door, the one door, and not the two double doors, the one single door. There's, notice how there's one brick to the right of the far right black stained glass pane, against, pretty much against the brick wall. The other side, there's two. So that outer one, you want to bring that entire wall back with brick block until it touches the other wall of brick block, just like this. And you do want to make sure that you do have a line on top, just like that. Come over to the left or the right side here of this wall where the iron door is, and you want to make this entire wall brick block. And then on one of the sides of the iron door, you want to place a lever. I wouldn't place one on the inside because basically the system more is you can go in, but you can't go out if the door is closed. Like, if you close yourself in, you're screwed. But, like, it's kind of, I don't know, just the system that I have it, but you can do whatever. And then you want to come to the inside of this room, and you want to make this front wall here iron, all iron bars. Just like this. Except for that bottom row, which will be brick. But the top two rows want to be iron bars. Just like that. You don't want to make the... Okay, so we have this blue concrete wall. You want to place a, row, a f layer of brick in front of it. So you should have a flat brick wall at the back here. Just like that.
Come to the front or the back right hand corner of this room when you want to count 4x4. Four four. Place two iron bars going left. Stone brick. Iron door. Brick block. If you want to make that brick block stone brick, you can. However, be wary, it will change a few things. And then two iron bars. Stone brick. Iron door. Brick block, two iron bars, stone brick, iron door, brick block, two iron bars, stone brick, iron door, brick block, two iron bars, stone brick, iron door, brick block, two iron bars, stone brick, and then iron door. You want to copy that entire row one more time, except for obviously you don't want to bring the doors up because, well, you can't. But the iron bars and the iron bars, stone brick and brick all want to come up by one each. This might be one of the longer videos as of recently, except for that one stream, which was like an hour and a half. It was an hour fifteen, I think. You then want to bring up the stone brick and the iron doors up with a stone brick stair each. You're going to bring every single brick block up with a brick block. And every iron bar up with an iron bar. So, yeah. You should have something that will look like this. Break one of the iron doors, doesn't matter which one, and you want to get rid of your lever and your iron bars, and you want to get out birch trap door, white carpet, and also get rid of your stone brick stairs and get out any carpet of your choice. I'm going to use gray. Basically, what you want to do is, okay... So we have the two iron bar sections, the r far right iron bar in each of those two. So there's two, there's the left one, the right one. The right one from the front's perspective, so the one further away from the door, I guess. Even though, the one that will be touching brick every time. <laughs> you want to find, at the back of the build, you want to place two upside down spruce wood slabs moving towards that. Just like that, do that on every single one. So you just should have a bunch of these. Then on the back block of each of those slabs, you want to place a white carpet. Or these are little slab sections. And then on the front block, place the carpet of your choice. Again, I am using gray. Or you don't have even have to place a carpet block there. It is up to you. Leave a one block gap going to the right of each one. And you want to place an upside down court stair facing right with a birch trap door on top of it. Just like that. So, I'll show you what it looks like once I get them all put in. I'm just going to place the... And then up against the far left wall when you hit the last block. Just like this. And then, there should be, wherever there is a bed and a toilet, one block apart from each other, you want to place a brick wall in between. Just like that. And then you want to do that with every single section. Going all the way down. And the brick, you can you could either do that or you could bring the brick at the front back. It's up to you which one you do. They will both end the same, ideally, if you have done the steps correctly. So I guess the way that I told you to is a, more of a way to make sure that you've done everything correctly. So they both should be basically up against a wall. And then once you hit the last one or whatever one, I would have the one... Like, if, if you chose the middle one, then I would work inward from either side. and it, Or if you chose one of the end ones, I would work from the opposite side towards it. And then you can just end on the one without a door and then place the door when you leave. 
Okay, I'm closed in. Alright, so you can, I guess, break out or do whatever. But what you want to do now is you want to come to this. Give me a moment. Come to the front left hand corner, this big open front room, which doesn't have much to it yet. You want to count right from the front corner by two, and you want to go backwards, and you want to place... Seven brick block. Yes. That is correct. And then you want to bring all those all the way up to the ceiling. In the back left hand corner you do want to count four to block and you want to break a doorway. We don't have the proper materials to do anything with that yet. And I want to come to the right side. And give me a sec. Okay, come to the right side and come to the front where you should have this little blue concrete sticking out. Just right here. You want to place going backward four brick block. The one block happen and go all the way to the back with brick. Copy that row two more times, except the second time you copy, you just want to place a straight row of brick going across. Just like that. And then at the front, where you have, again, the three of blue concrete, the f back block of blue concrete, you can bring right with a brick block. For one block gap, and then you want to place six brick blocks. And then you can just get rid of any material, doesn't matter, and then you can just bring the white concrete back. Then going backward from this... Is it that one? No, it's not. So you want to actually break that last block that you placed, sorry. So it should end on the white, touching the white concrete. And then you want to go backward and you want to place four brick block. One block gap. Then seven brick block. Let me make sure that that's correct. I think so. One block gap, seven brick block. One block gap, two brick blocks. So yeah, that is correct. And then you want to bring all of this up. And you want to bring all the brick up with two more rows of brick. And at the top row, again, you want to place brick over your doorways. Just like that. We will do the interior for those in a moment. We're almost done already, actually. How long is it? Well, how long has it been? I mean, it's been 28 minutes. So, yeah. It's probably been more like 23. Okay, clear inventory, and you... I do... I'm gonna save my night vision, but you wanna clear inventory and get out. Okay, so you can go to the front left-hand room first. But you wanna get out sprucewood planks. Sprucewood stairs. Spruce fence, bookshelves, string, white carpet, dark oak doors, and you can just get out lanterns or anything, really. I will get out lanterns. Yeah, if you if it's dark for you, just go ahead and light up the place. Just kind of lantern spam or do whatever. I don't really want to make it, I don't really care about it being perfect. If you want to create a pattern with it, then go ahead. Or you could do it in the ceiling, it doesn't matter. But yeah, you can just light up the entire build. Make the prison cells light or dark, it's up to you. But I would at least light up the hallway. Oh, perfect, then everything's wearing out so we can see how dark it is. I mean, like, dark corners and stuff isn't necessarily a bad thing, especially with the cells, like... Like, that might be a little bit dark. 
but I mean, hey, then they don't have to worry about not being able to sleep because it'll be too bright. And also here, just don't place it in a wall, even though there are no walls there yet. But don't place it where a wall will be, even though you don't know where the walls will be, so that's kind of contradictory. Alright, in every single doorway, one block doorway that you just have open now, you want to place a dark oak door in it. So you should have a lot of dark oak doors. And then come back to the front left hand room. And from the door, give me a sec. You want to count forward by three. And you want to place five spruce planks going left. Then move three going backward. From the front right hand corner to the front left hand corner, you want to go backward and you want to place bookshelf. Spruce stair, bookshelf, spruce stair, bookshelf, spruce stair, bookshelf, and I do that on both sides. You can go further back on the um, left side or just go the same, it doesn't matter, I'm going to do the same because it's symmetrical. But you could go all the way to the far back if you want to do. Oh, that is very dark. <laughs> That's creepy. It looks like it just looks like a long corridor until you walk in and you realize, okay, there's concrete back there. But even from like there, it just looks like a long hallway. That is really creepy. All right, so from the doors, you just want to count. Or the okay, so come back to the main lobby, and from the two doors, you just want to count backwards, like however many blocks, really. It doesn't matter, and you just want to place a little desk, which should be. Basically, what I did was, it's it's six blocks away from the doors, and it go goes from the far right block of the right door to the far left block of the left door. And then go backwards by one on either side, and just place a spruce wood stair somewhere in the middle. If you want, I forgot to do, I was gonna do this, but I forgot to do this. You can get out, uh, Cyan Terracotta. Probably needed, yeah, we needed one of the materials that I got rid of. And blue stained glass block, and also an acacia, or not an acacia, sorry, a tripwire. I don't even know where acacia came from. And just kind of like against a wall or something, place cyan terracotta with a blue stained glass block and a tripwire hook in front of the cyan terracotta. Now I would get back out your spruce wood or whatever you ended up getting rid of. Get rid of your uh, dark oak doors, and you want to get a brick block. Okay, so you want to come into this hallway, and you want to come to the front door, which is this one, and come inside the room. Who's making noise back there? From the back left hand corner, you want to count four to block and you want to place a spruce wood stair. Leave a one block gap going right and place another one. Do that, then one block gap, place another. Then move right one and forward one, you want to place another stair. One block gap going forward, another stair. Forward one and then left one and place the stair facing backwards. One block gap going left stair. One block gap going left stair. Along two of the sides, doesn't matter if it's long or short side, you want to place spruce fence. And then in the middle of the fence, you want to place string and place white carpet on top of all the string and fence. Just like that. So, you have three doors here at the right side. Come back into the hallway. And you have the three doors on the right. You want to move. You want to just walk into one of them. One block, okay, so, the, f behind the door is the second brick block each, the second brick block behind each door you want to place a wall moving all the way to the right from. So you can see basically this front door, it's got five in front, just like that, and then it's got one behind that you can see. Same with the next door, five in front, one behind, same with the final door, five in front, one behind. That already has the back wall, so you don't have to worry about that. But yeah, you just want to place walls in between the three rooms.
Okay, so, you have the three rooms now, and you want to come and do any of them, it doesn't matter. You're going to have to do the same in all three rooms. And you want to place along the back wall, it does not matter where. I, w I did two blocks away from the, so actually in the center of the room. The center against the back wall, you want to place this boost stair. Then you want to count to either side by two, and then forward by two, and you want to place this boost stair. Oh no, do that going only right, sorry, so right two and then forward two and place a stair. One block gap, stair, one block gap, stair. Actually no, sorry, you did you wanna place So you do you have the one stair and then you go one block gap stair forward two and then count left by one and then place a stair. You then wanna count uh right by or left by two from that stair and you wanna count backward by two and you wanna place or no backward by one place stair block leave a one block gap stair one block gap stair. Just like that. Actually, you can make this three, if you want, like, just like that. Or two, it's up to you. You don't want to place, again, at two of the sides, you want to place two spruce fence, and then the middle place string, and place white carpet on top of all that. You don't want to do that in the other two rooms, so if you got confused, you can watch my screen. So basically, one in the middle, and then bloop, bloop, and then bloop, and then bloop, bloop, bloop. Right? Right? Maybe? Yeah, sure, we'll go with that. And then that will be your bottom floor basically complete. We just have one little thing to do, aka the staircase, the creepy corridor. <laughs> now, why do I keep sneezing during videos? I've sneezed the last like three videos I've recorded. I'm pretty sure. Not that that's something that's important, but it's been like two two of the last three or something like that. Or no, three of the last four, sorry. <laughs> something like that, I don't know, it's ridiculous, though. I clearly, I'm allergic to recording now. <laughs> that would suck, wouldn't it? Okay, clear inventory one more time, except I would leave your night vision. And you want to get out, brick block. Oakwood stairs, white concrete, dark oak doors, blue concrete, and I guess that's all. Alright, so come to the uh, creepy corridor over here at the front left, which legitimately just looks like darkness. And you want to come to the second row of oak in this, and you want to place two oak stairs. You then want to... Basically, pillar them, or I guess, move them diagonally upwards until you go all the way into the next floor, and you should be in line with the oak wood planks. Now, we, w we do have to break this in a specific way, which I will tell you in a second. Just like that. So, you basically want to break the white concrete and oak until you are in line with the end of the um, wall. And in and then until you're at the end of the wall that blocks the staircase from view, just like that. And then at the left and the right of the staircase, I'm gonna I didn't even drink it. You want to replace the white concrete with brick blocks and also the oak. On the you the oak you want to replace at the back as well, but you do not want to replace the oak or the white concrete at the back. Okay, so, I'm gonna measure something here. If you're going to build the rest of the interior on your own, you do not have to make this measurement. However, it will kind of create some, uh, how do I say this? I don't even know how to speak. But first things first is you want to bring this entire brick section. So you should have a brick outline on the staircase. You want to bring that brick all the way up until it will touch the white concrete ceiling that is above the left section of the build. 
because that would be important in measuring something. I think. I don't know. You don't want to connect the top or a brick at the front together. And you basically kind of have this little stairwell. You can just fill in the top of this with white concrete. But what you want to do is you want to, at the back left-hand corner and back right-hand corner, you want to extend this wall all the way to the left and the right of your build. And just create a wall going up, and it should be four blocks tall. Just like that. That's one side, and then let's do the other side. <clears throat> so we'll touch both sides of the building. This is the portion that I used during the tutorial. This portion does not get used. Um, I will talk about what you could do for this in a little bit. Once I build the front part, I will tell you what you can do for the back part. This has been a 40 minute video. Probably not at this point quite yet. It'll probably be like 30 minutes at this time, but still. And then at the front, you want to... Give me a second. This timer is going to go off on me and it's going to scare me because it always does. It always scares me for some reason. I should get a different timer, but I like the timer noise when I'm expecting it. <laughs> okay, so at the... How do I measure this? That's how. So you want to extend this brick wall here, just the bottom block, you can want to go, so we're at the right side, you want to bring it left by two, leave a one block gap, place four bricks. Come all the way to the other side and you want to place four bricks moving inwards. You then want to copy that row one more time. Place a little brick on top of all that so it should go over the doorway. And then you want to place a little brick on top of that that connects both sides together and also extends all the way up to the, basically to the point where it will shade off this section, it will basically separate these two sections. I know that was a really dumb way to explain that, but don't judge me. And then you will also have to place a white concrete at the top of this section here. So I'm gonna break myself into here, just like that. Come into this um, room here where you just kinda have a little open space. And you want to place Oakwood stairs here at the left, right along the top of the white concrete and blue concrete, going kind of right. And then you want to place rows going down diagonally until you touch the bottom. So do whatever you want with this room, and just place a dark oak door on it, just like that. Okay, so you now have this, between the, f the window and the door, you have a three block gap. You want to go forward, or I guess backward from that, and you want to place six brick blocks, a dark oak door, and a brick block. Place brick going all the way up to the ceiling around that. Hey Siri, stop the timer. I stopped the timer. Don't need that to go off and scare me. And then, okay. We're pretty much done. We just have to interiorize this room and this room, which we shall wall off now. So, the end of the staircase here, you basically just want to place a dark oak door right at the edge here. Like, right, right in front of the staircase. And then you want to surround it in brick blocks. Just like that. And then, okay, so you should have these two white concrete kind of right above that wall that we just made. You want to bring those white concrete all the way to the right side, and you basically just want to fill in this section's roof with white concrete at this level. You can also do that for the back section. Now I'm going to talk about what you can use the rooms for. 
Um, the far right and far left rooms aren't here, I start with this middle room is not, and I will tell you what you can do for this. So I'm gonna leave just a gap open here. But yeah, something like this, except minus that gap in the corner. And it would be from the inside. Okay, so this big room right here at the front. What I would do is I'd turn this into like a gym area. What you can do is you can break this wall and extend it back as far as you'd like. What you can also do is, I'll just give you a bunch of ideas here. You can, at the left here, you can just kind of place, like, a shower area. So, like, kind of like a bathroom sort of area, just showers and stuff, if you want. Again, all this is if you want, you don't have to. And then you can just add some, you can add some prison cells here with the blue, con where the blue concrete section is, if you'd like. Again, all this is up to you. And then, what I do is I'd add, like, an office or two in this area. You can just split this in half and have an office or two. And you could even place an office in this section. Or make this a hallway again. Again, up to you. Or make it not prison cells. You probably would have room in front of the prison cells to add another office or two. Just accessing it would be weird. Or you could bring the gym part back. It's up to you. But, um, yeah. Let me get to the actual part that I shall do. So, well, first off, you just want to go lantern spam again. Even in this room, I guess, if you'd like. Again, it do I don't know what, you, what I would do with this room. Uh, you could even just have it as, like, tables and chairs and stuff. Maybe, like, a, I don't know, a good lunch area would be nice. This is actually seeming like, an act like the actual prison that I made now. <laughs> and I would place one above the stairs, too. And I'll put two in this room. Clear inventory, and you want to how much long? Okay, about 11 seconds. I don't think I need it, though. But you want to get out, Sprucewood Stairs, or no, Sprucewood Slab, sorry, you don't need stairs at all. Actually, no, you do need stairs. So, yeah, Sprucewood, Sprucewood Slab, Sprucewood Planks, that's not Spruce, that is what we need, though, Spruce. Sprucewood Stairs. Black Concrete. And Spruce Doors. Come into the left room, and you want to place... So, from the front left and corner, I count backwards a block, place the spruce with the stair facing back. Place three behind... No, no, two behind that facing right, and then one behind that facing forward. At the back... Or, the right wall, just kind of roughly in the middle, I'd go more towards the back. You just want to place in a spruce wood plank. Bring it up with two black concrete. Bring the black concrete forward and black backward by one per block. And you want to place an upside on spruce wood stair below the back and front block of black concrete. Just like that. You can also do this at the top or just place slabs or do nothing. Just like that. Come all the way to the left room now and you want to... From the back left hand corner you want to place going right spruce wood plank. Two upside on spruce wood slabs. Spruce wood plank. Two upside on spruce wood slabs. Spruce wood plank. Two upside on spruce wood slabs. And four with an upside on spruce wood slab. Spruce wood plank. Come back to the back left hand corner. You want to count forward by three and you want to play spruce wood plank. Two upside on spruce wood slabs and a spruce wood plank. <coughs> Bring every single spruce wood plank up with an additional spruce wood plank. And place a spruce door on the front faces of these. Again, these are lockers. Um, where you'd have, I don't know, where police officers would get, police officers would get into uniform if they have to. You could also add, like, a fireman's pole somewhere. It, you don't have to. I wouldn't. But, um, yeah. That's really what we have. But again, take my suggestions however you'd like, and, um, yeah. Let me know if there's anything that you think you should add on this, because, you know, I would take some good ideas. But, uh, yeah, again, sorry this one was so much more open compared to the other ones, because this building is huge, and I need, I don't have enough time to make, like, a longer video now with school and stuff. And I'm also trying to, um, you know, just keep my videos shorter so I don't miss stuff that I don't want to miss and that I want to do 
But, um, yeah. Have a fantastic rest of your day and night. Give me any tutorial suggestion you have in the comments. And I will see you on the next one. Peace.